hello everyone welcome back so i'm gonna do a vlog over the next few days because i've got some days off and i've got lots of exciting things that i'm doing over the next few days so today i'm up in doncaster with my boyfriends and i'm driving back home but before i do that i'm gonna put a hair mask on so wash this but i just wanted to show you like my hair before like i really don't know what this kink is but very exciting news on saturday the 4th of july i'm getting my roots done like in this light they don't even look bad like they're bad and it's not okay and i can't wait to be blonde again so i'm gonna prep my hair put some opex on it drive back down south and i'm gonna tan tonight i'm gonna just do some beauty things i've got some new tan to try so we'll give you reviews on that and then what else am i doing so tomorrow i've actually got my smear test which is really scary more because I'm old like I've had a coil before so I know exactly what to expect I just thought it's important to kind of talk about like not be embarrassed about or anything so I'm not going to take you with me but like I'll tell you how it goes and then I'm going to go to Primark and hopefully this one will go better in long jeans and before we take you there show you what you get and then on Saturday is my hair um so I'm getting that done at 10 a.m love that and then I'm driving straight up to Leeds to see my friends because I haven't seen them in ages and we're just having a girls night so that's my plan so i'll take you to as much as i can um i don't know how exciting it's going to be but anyway so yeah this is my hair pre washing it so i cut it i cut it quite short like april and obviously it's like wavy right now so it has grown quite a lot um it's feeling a lot healthier and a lot thicker and i do feel like the olivex and everything has helped so I'll show you like what I use. So I'm gonna wet my hair now, put Olaplex on, and I'll show you how I do it. Do you care? Probably not. But anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm literally just wet my hair, just to put a couple seconds through, let it towel dry. So I'll take this out. Never scrunch your hair on the towels, it will break it. Okay, so this is just Olaplex number three. What I'm gonna do is take, not loads, because I don't wanna reuse too much. Look at this girl, it's so tiny. It's like 26 pounds. So Start off with like that much. And I'm focusing it on the ends and the lengths. Just combing it through with my fingers. Yeah, when you do this, do it just literally like with day hair. Don't shampoo or anything, because you'll just that's what you do after you wash it out. So literally I'm just taking my tangle tinser through won't damage the wet hair. But yeah, I'm literally just gonna leave this in all day. This crazy to test goes, so that will be fun. Let's just hope people think I have wet hair and not have a mask on it. And I'll just shampoo, condition, and then do another hair mask. Just like a shower, wash in, wash out one. I'm gonna get home later. It's got in the wrong. But it's good news, it's working. I'm just going to put a tiny insert through the roots as well. Oh, much. I've been using Olaplex probably three, four weeks now, and I don't know if I've seen it make a difference, but apparently it takes like six weeks anyway. It's more about the bonds in your hair, and obviously, because it will be bleached on Saturday. I just want to get it in as best condition as I can for then, and then, yeah, fun basically. I'm gonna let it cook. I'm just gonna put it in like a low bar and like wrap it around. Get it all to mix in with the other hair and wash it probably there for like six or seven tonight. So I'll probably see you then. So I am home, obviously, as you can tell. For some reason, I thought my <laughs> this is so stupid when I think about it. I thought the Olaplex mask would like stay wet in my hair, but it's like dried and isn't feeling too great but it's fine i'm gonna wash it out soon but i thought i'd just jump on because i'm deciding to tidy my festival outfit drawer which is a bit mad so i thought i'll just show you what i'm doing i kind of started it also i just um, did a sheen try on and i just, uh, just some of it didn't fit and it's just made no one thinks like you're too tight and it's just like makes you feel like shit so that's where i am now i uploaded a tiktok so it's in the my TikTok is in the description bar. Um, yeah, so this is the mess I'm dealing with. Cute. So yeah, it all just lives in there and 
I've started over here. Oh my god, I've got like cheer bows in here as well. So I need to really just bin it and go through it. But like I've just folded some like trousers and dresses and these are like shorts and skirts. Um I just see my and skirt. This is all kind of like new stuff, which I've had my boyfriends and then like all this, which I wanna fold up and make neat to go back in there. Right, this is actually excessive. So I've got like a swimsuit there. Actually, I'm, mm, I'll put that in my swimming thing, I think. It's so just like tops, shorts and skirts, trousers. These are like bikini top styles, bikini bottoms, some like socks and this many belts. So I'm just trying to fit this all in here in like a good orderly way. So I think I'm gonna do belts on one half maybe like this side with obviously the ones I don't use as much on the bottom I really need to go for it and depop shit but I just can't be asked and then close on the other side so I'll let you know once it's done okay all done uh yeah belts and it still looks a bit of a mess to be honest and if I ever try and go in it it will just get messed up straight away but we move okay right I'm about to shower so wash the Olaplex off my hair so I just show you the hair mask that I've been using for like a couple months now it's really nice it's just this Kerastas one it's the resistance mask therapist in french it's really good i literally just keep it on for basically if i'm shaving once i've like done my hair um i'll just put this on and then like shave my whole body which i'm about to do and yeah so leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes and then so tan funny story about this tan i really wanted to try the filter by molly may but it was like sold out in extra dark and like i won't by not extra dark if that's like the darkest they do so i went to primark and i'd heard about this so so dripping gold and i was like oh okay that's fine there's no price on it but um primark prices i'm gonna guess it's like what six eight pounds so i was like yeah sure i heard some things not like loads about it uh got to the till and it was 18 pounds 18 pounds of tan i was like oh my god for primark that's expensive but i was like whatever i don't care if i was gonna pay for the molly may one it would have been not much more so i then looked on youtube just to type it in i was like is this even gonna be worth it and i didn't actually watch any videos but some people were saying this is the best tan they've ever used so i was like okay cool and i also got this mitt from primark it's just one of the big ones um it looks elasticated at the bottom so i'm not sure if that's gonna like take your stuff off or whatever but it's just the bronze keep growing Expo oh my god it's just a fucking exfoliator oh, what an idiot oh, i thought <laughs> i thought this was an applique like a tanning mitt oh, i'm such an idiot anyway it's fine i've got my old skinny tan one so okay well that's changed that so i'm gonna exfoliate with this it's only £2.50, so let's hope this is good. Yeah, so obviously I am pasty, so I'll let you know what it's like when it's on. What I'm going to do, because I usually do, well, I usually do like three or four layers, which I know is slightly excessive, but like that's when I go out. So I'm going to see what one layer does, leave it for like an hour, and then maybe do another, and then obviously wash off in the morning, and I'll let you know my thoughts and what it's like when I've got the first layer on. Okay, so I've done it. It right. So I don't know why, I, but I just presumed all tans nowadays were mousses, and that tan just wasn't. Honestly, it looked like marmite when it went on, but it's dried quite quickly. So one layer, obviously, you can see the difference in my face because it's not on my face. But anyway, put some Moroccan oil on my hair after my wash my mask out, and now I'm just gonna show you what I do for my other hair care routine so i've got this beauty works 10 in 1 spray like i know i don't wear extensions but it's still really good for it it's got like heat defense in which you should always put on your hair um just because like sunlight just the elements all that Let's brush that through and then i'm just going to take the beauty works argan serum literally just use a pump of this um i do this every single day even though i only wash my hair like twice a week like i'll do it in the morning when i get up just spray in a tiny pump like only like half a pump just to really help keep it in okay condition well I'm getting better condition right I'll come back once I've done another layer and it's dried good morning so a tan update oh, always happens always the hands this is pre-shower and i'm gonna need to put another layer or two on i think tonight because it's just not like just not as dark as i want to be which is a bit of a shame that's fine i'll do it tonight because i can't be asked to do it today i don't really have time 
and love to see, know what like why does hair suddenly turn like into this weird kink like am i gonna have curly hair is that what is that what this means i'd rather not anyway i'm gonna wash this tan off and put some makeup on and then go to the doctor's just done my makeup and like i was gonna do lashes and stuff but i'm actually quite enjoying just a mascara eye and a tiny bit of brown a little bit bougie to go to the doctors but we're going to mk center mk after so i'll just show you my outfit it's quite a cute one i've just randomly pulled together okay so i'm just wearing this new like white cropped denim jacket from she she sheen wow and this little crop top's from sheen too and this cute little bag's just from primark and then i've just got these joggers which are from ebay actually and then just a plt belt and then i'll just also show you i've got my virgo obviously it's going to be the wrong way around but yeah just a little virgo necklace that i got from aliexpress and just primark sunglasses so watch me walk into the doctors like this and they'll be like who is this bitch just me okay i'm back so the smear was uncomfortable but it was fine it was just like it's a weird sensation and yeah but it's fine it's fine do it you have to do it girls do it so anyway went to milton Keynes. um i was gonna vlog but i got scared and it wasn't actually that busy um i went to primark and zara and superdrug so i'll show you what i got and then there were some bits that i still wanted from primark which they didn't have literally i've been to three primarks now and they didn't have any of it so i was like oh there's another one in milton Keynes. i'll just go and go there so I it's in a shopping park so i drove to that and i got to like the car park by the Primark there and the queue was literally to the end of that and I just drove straight back out I was just like no I'm not doing it sorry so I'll show you what I got up not sure about everything so let me just show you I just don't know if my body suits them like I just maybe I need to accept defeat but I think I might put some rips in them because like I got some from Sheen and they just didn't fit but like I want rips so I'm going to a girls night tomorrow so I think this is the outfit I'm gonna wear um I actually got these in a 12 just so they definitely fit because I've tried mom jeans at primark before but they didn't also tan update i actually love the color of this tan i feel like it developed more when it got washed off so i'm not going to do any more layers big fan 10 out of 10 would recommend the what's it called the sosu glow, luxury glow i think anyway so i think i'll just keep them otherwise i'm never going to be happy this tops from kb the label and then we had large and extra large but i tried them on and you just squeeze them in at the waist and they're so nice and baggy but like cozy so like i'm a fan of those and then i got i actually forgot what i got like why did i get so much random shit yeah so just a primark uh, body is that not thong right okay whatever oh that's an outfit look at that imagine with like a cute necklace okay that's <laughs> what am i doing anyway and then i got these clips i've got the andrew fitzsimmons ones i think i thought they were cute and i want to be able to match these so i just got two sets of those they were only 150 each also got just a brow pencil oh my god look right so some kittens scratched me like it's fine but like tan just sticks to them that looks so dramatic it's like it was not bad um and then from Superdrug, i got some gel so like when i can do like sleek hairdos and stuff and then I went to Zara and I got, oh, wait, I'll come back and show you what I got. This cream top, it's like similar to like the body, a bit like that Primark vibe, but um, this was only three ninety nine, dollars and the bodysuit was twelve ninety nine. So I was just like, mm, well, I'll do that. The only issue is it's like not double lined. So I don't have a, see, like a nude bra, so we'll just have to see. And then I got this cute like little lilac top. Oh, it will go so nicely with my sheen, sheen bag. And it was only four ninety nine, but oh my god, right? So this is a medium, and this is this is just like, do you think I'm skinny? Like, that's tiny. How am I meant to fit in that? Anyway, we'll give it a go. I'll do a try on for you. So this is the top from Zara, the purple one. Um, it's a lot stretchier than I imagined. Like for how tiny it was, I probably got it got away with a small. But anyway, just so I actually oh, I like this outfit actually. Like the jeans aren't really growing on me, so cool. Um, oh, also the tan love it and like it's really making the blonde hair pop and imagine tomorrow when my hair is blonder <sighs> can't wait um so yeah this is just such a cute little cash outfit this is the second outfit so the zara top it's not actually a see-through as i thought however it probably still would need nipple covers at least and then these are just those shorts so they're really just for like chilling about the house or like running errands like 
don't think I could get away with wearing them out. I don't know whether to cut them a tiny bit, like literally maybe like to here, because I do feel like they are a tiny bit long and I look like a, a boy. But anyway, that's fine. But yeah, they are a large, so like this is what they actually sit to. And this is just that Primark body with just shorts. So again, like so simple, so easy just to throw with anything basic. The only issue is, right, can we just look at this cut? <laughs> like... Uh, I really don't like non-thong bodysuits. Like, what the fuck is that? So I'm just gonna have to ignore that. But overall, she's done well. Yeah, I've decided to cut my jeans. So I've just like marked holes in them with some sewing chalk stuff. I don't know, my mum did it. And then I asked my friends and Chloe from Dumb Blonde Club. Hi, Chloe. Said the best way to do it is to obviously cut and then use sandpaper so it gets all frayed. So I'm just gonna do that now and hopefully it works. Otherwise I've just spent 15 pounds for nothing. Oh my God, the feel of it just knocks me actually sick. Let me try and... It's working though. It's getting frayed. I'll show you the end result good morning again it is saturday and i am about to go and get my hair done yeah so i'm driving straight to leeds to see my friends afterwards so i've done my eye makeup in the salon you have to wear a mask so it's just like there's no point in doing face makeup if it's just gonna get covered by a mask and ruined so yeah i just use like sellotape to try and get this slick line tip my brows last night so they're looking nice and dark um i'm so excited to get all of this done i'm just gonna get it like dry style of like dried sorry and just gonna do it when i get to leeds because i'm paying 20 quid extra to get my hair curled you know what i mean like i can do that myself i'll show you my outfit when i get dressed and yeah we have gotta get on our way because i need to leave in like 10 minutes so i'm just wearing obviously the same chokers as yesterday just from ebay and then this purple zara top i got yesterday with this sheen bag i mean they're different purples but like we're still just going with the vibe and i'm just gonna chuck my boyfriend's hoodie on to keep me a bit warm as it's raining so yeah see ya when this isn't this full of pp so hot in here got my mask got my gloves got my gown can't wait to see ya Oh my god, this is the first time I've seen it in like natural daylight. She's blonde, there's no root. Oh, I'm so happy, I feel so much better. So obviously you have to wear PPE and stuff in there. So it was really, really hot under it. So girls, if you're going to get your hair done, wear like a strappy top, because even in like this top, I was fucking boiling. Uh, it was really well organized, like you had you will see in the previous clips but everything was like separated there was different people doing kind of like the hair washing but like there's four basins and they were only using the two outside basins it was all really safe like you weren't right near anyone the screens were really large and to be honest i quite liked that it was very private like i don't really like people so that worked really well so yeah i only got it like dry rough dried because i can't be asked to pay for like 20 quid for them to style it and like in the nicest way i don't really like how hairdressers style hair unless it's like specific so i'm just gonna let it completely dry i need to go to tesco's to get some stuff for mojitos and then i've got a three hour drive up to leeds where i'll like finish my makeup and do my hair then and yeah i'll see you then <laughs> They don't have wraps, but they've got these, and is it good? Yummy! So it's actually a few days later, and I knew I was gonna edit this vlog today, but I was like, well, I'm actually gonna go get my nails done, so I'll just take you and show you that, because look at this situation. It's not okay. So yeah, going to get my nails done, I probably won't vlog in there, because it's a little bit embarrassing, but I'll show you afterwards. Look at the nails. This one's a bit more chunky than I thought it would be. But anyway, so I got like two glittery ones and an ombre. And then if you see there, is it going to focus? Probably not. It's like around the side. Yeah, I feel cute. And it, like, they match my bag. What a vibe. Love it.
Okay, so what is my hair doing, please? I'm going to leave the vlog there. I actually was meant to finish it at the weekend, but I just forgot to end it. Um, so, yeah, it's actually turned out to be a really nice day. I think I'm going to go for a walk once I've edited this. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I've actually quite enjoyed vlogging again. I, like, I know I had a bit of a break from YouTube. I've just been so busy. But, but I've got some exciting news and some exciting things coming up. So I really want to vlog that. And, yeah, so... If you enjoyed it comment like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye